I am closing my 52 years of military service. When I joined the Army, even before the turn of the century, it was the fulfillment of all my boyish hopes and dreams. The world has turned over many times since I took the oath on the plane at West Point, and the hopes and dreams have long since vanished. But I still remember the refrain of one of the most popular barrack ballads of that day, which proclaimed most proudly that old soldiers never die. They just fade away. And like the old soldier of that ballad, I now close my military career and just fade away. An old soldier who tried to do his duty as God gave him the light to see that duty. Goodbye. Disappearances, nationalism, and dictatorship. King Jong-un's family history has all the hallmarks of a movie, and they're just as erratic as the country's leader. The Qing Dynasty has been ruling North Korea for more than 70 years. The lineage is broken into three generations. King Jong-un's grandfather, Kim Il-sun, was the founder of the People's Republic of North Korea and is widely idolized in the country. There are over 500 statues of him in North Korea and he's referred to as the Great Son of Life. King Jong-un's grandmother, Kim Jong-suk, often called the perfect communist wife, was an anti-Japanese guerrilla fighter. Then there's his father. Kim Jong-il was an eccentric leader who led the country from 1994 to 2011. He's been heavily criticized for the devastating famine that plagued the nation from 1994 to 1998. Under his rule, North Korea was, quote, among the world's most repressive governments. He was also a major film buff with a collection of more than 20,000 videotapes. And he had a love for luxury cars. Kim Jong-un's uncle, Jang Song-theak, was a vice chairman of the National Defense Commission and led the country while Kim Jong-il was sick. He was a key policy advisor and second-in-command. His demise came in the form of a brutal execution on Kim Jong-un's order. His crime? Treason. And he was labeled a traitor and executed in 2013. Kim Jong-un's half-brother, Kim Jong-nam, was next in line to be supreme leader until he was caught trying to enter Japan with a fake passport. He claims he wanted to go to Tokyo Disneyland. He was educated in Europe and was reportedly seen as the black sheep in the Kim family. He was poisoned with a cloth by two women in Kuala Lumpur International Airport. It has been widely believed to have been orchestrated by the North Korean government. Kim Yo-jung, 
his sister. She's the brains behind Kim Jong-un's image and was recently promoted to a top political post. The man at the center of this family tree, Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea. He was educated in Switzerland and is credited with boosting North Korea's nuclear arsenal and has reputation for becoming unhinged and reportedly has an obsession with basketball and computer games. His net worth is estimated to be $5 billion. Will North Korea ever be free of the Kim Dynasty rule? North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un apparently never even met his half-brother Kim Jong-nam. Considered the playboy of the dynastic dictatorial Kim family, he was known for living a lavish lifestyle, spending big at Macau's casinos after he was essentially exiled by North Korea for once trying to sneak into Tokyo Disney. South Korea's spy agency says the North Korean dictator ordered the hit. Was the Hermit Kingdom trying to show the world its strength? Taking out a high-profile figure with VX agent, a chemical weapon of mass destruction in a busy airport terminal, looks like a warning shot, according to USC's David Kang, after a few high-profile defectors spilled some of North Korea's inside secrets. Or does that smell more like fear? A rattled dictator so concerned about more defectors, paranoid even, he reaches for his most powerful weapon to try and send a don't-mess-with-me message to those who would follow. The jury is split on whether Kim Jong-nam was considered a threat to his brother's power. He openly called for reform in North Korea, and he even called his brother a puppet. He also maintained close ties to China, fueling suspicion that the North Korean regime could worry that their closest ally might one day prop him up as a possible replacement for Kim Jong-un. Some experts point out the unreliable playboy would have been an unlikely pick. Such a valuable Chinese asset would have traveled with protection, making it unlikely that anyone with poison would have gotten close to him. There is one more possibility, old-fashioned family politics. Korea has a long history of palace intrigue. It's possible Kim Jong-un would want his half-brother dead just for further protection to his line of succession.